hot. Very hot. Hey everyone, my name is Max and happy Thanksgiving to any of you who are watching this from the States. Happy whatever your next holiday is if you're not from the States watching this. I'm home for the week from senior year um, for Thanksgiving break. So I'm set up here in my dad's garage, his man cave. So you can see his motorcycles back there. It's a little bit of a different backdrop than my previous videos. But about two months ago, a month ago now, I created this music visualizer inspired by glass animals. And I had a lot of fun making it. I think it turned out really cool. So I wanted to kind of recreate it again, but this time actually record my process. Because last time it was a lot of experimentation and a lot of things that it like really wouldn't have made for a good video. And also I was quarantined in my room. So I wasn't really looking too great or wanting to record. But for this one, I'm gonna create a JavaScript music visualizer and I'm gonna kind of build it off of the beat detection algorithm video that I made previously. The idea is that once I have it created, I'll be able to use it as the base for other music visualizers on my website. So because I only have a few days to work on it, I wanted to lay out a few requirements to actually build out an MVP or minimum viable product. Even though it's not a product, I still think it helps to kind of make a concise list of the requirements that you want. So that at the end of it, you can be like, all right, I'm done, I'm gonna stop working on it, move on to something else. So let's get started. For this project's MVP, I'll have three main requirements. The first is there needs to be a cool visualization. It's kind of the entire point of the project. And my only thing for this is it can't be generic or boring. It's gotta be something interesting that I come up with on my own. Second, I need audio integration. I already know from my last project that I can't access system audio from the browser, for example, from Spotify or other desktop apps. So maybe I can embed a YouTube player and play songs that way, or just host the music myself. Third, I need to make it live. Question is, where do I host it? I think I'll use my personal website. So I need to refactor my existing code art page to accommodate this project. And I wanna set it up so that in the future, I can have all my code art projects there. The first requirement is the visualization. So let's sketch out some ideas and figure out what I want it to look like. I'm thinking right now, there'll be multiple rings made up of dots that rotate in different directions. And the dots are all different sizes and each ring is a different color. So next question is, what colors do I wanna use? I wanna set up the codes so that I can use different color palettes. That way it's easy for me to change the colors in the future and even add in additional palettes. Third is what part of the music changes the visualization. So first the dot sizes are controlled by the Fourier transform, the FFT amplitudes. Each ring represents a different frequency band, the base is in the middle, the high is on the outside. And then the dots rotate to the speed or the BPM of the song and each frequency beat will like bump the ring along in a certain direction. So we have it all planned out, got the MVP figured out, figured out what I want the visualization to look like. Um, all there is left to do now is to start coding. So I think I'm gonna start by looking at my website and kind of figuring out the layout there where I can put it in. And then once I have that done, I'm gonna start actually creating the new visualization. So I just wasted an hour trying to figure out why my, so I like part of my code in my portfolio of this website that pulls in my YouTube videos. For some reason, YouTube throttled my credentials. It only ran whenever I updated my website. So like once a month, if that, once every few months. I was limited to zero queries per day. There was no way to change it. So I had to make new credentials just to fix it. <sighs> Now I can start. So it's now Monday night, 8.33, and I'm about to call it for the night, but pretty much I was able to completely rearrange my code art page. If you take a look here on the screen, right now I just have two of the same right now. So it's like the description for my last one, the space, post, space ghost coast to coast. Um, and then like a screenshot preview of it. And then the link extends the whole way right now. I might change that. You click on it, then it brings it to the actual visualizer, which still looks pretty cool. Now I have to implement the Thanksgiving one. But yeah, I'm happy. And now I can easily, you know, take a screenshot of it and add it and kind of extend them all the way down. So yeah, solid work for the first day. I will see you guys tomorrow.
day two. Let's get some coffee. Bit of a breakthrough. Kind of wrote some like, random notes here. Nothing important. But I was having some issues kind of figuring out how I was going to actually make the rings. I was gonna actually like make the dots and have it different for each band, but like still the information I needed it. Cause I was looking at like particle systems on P5J, like just Googling, trying to get some ideas. And I was like, this is kind of overkill. But I had to think, a, I feel like it's a pretty good implementation. So pretty much what I do is I keep track of the number of dots I'm gonna have, in this case 210, the number of bands, in this case six, and then the band growth rate. And by that I mean, like the first inner band will have 10, the next one has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So that's like the six bands. And then all this is just like the stuff I had for my other ones, like getting the amplitude, doing like the algorithm stuff. But the actual drawing of the visualization is down here. So first I translate it so it's zero centered, because usually zero, zero is like up here. But since we're using um, polar coordinates, I want the zero to be in the middle. And pretty much I just go through each band and I use that band growth rate. So it controls this like two pi over band length. So if you think about a circle, it's two pi radians, it's a full circle. So my band length in this case, like in the inner circle, that would be one times 10. So 10, I'm taking two pi, dividing it by 10, and that's the angle I'm using for each position of the, of the dots. And then I plot a dot like that many times. Kind of a convoluted explanation. And then I use the size, the FFT, that array, to control the size. So whatever, that's the code. This is how it looks. And yeah, so this is what it looks like already. Uh, next up, I wanna add rotation for the dots. I might have them like some rotating in, other ones rotating the opposite way, I'm not sure yet. And then I need to add colors and have to do something with the beats. But I think this is a good start. Another quick update. I've got the rotation working and I have a color palette clicked out. Here's what it looks like. And I kind of really like it. Um, this is kind of more of the experimentation part. I'll switch over to here. Yeah, that's sort of what it looks like. Focus. But yeah, I'm kind of happy. I'm gonna keep playing around with it, finalize the description and all that. Um, but I'm pretty close to being done. baby and it works okay I'm done surprisingly the project actually went according to plan faster I honestly thought it would take me like the whole week but um, yeah, it's done. So it's live on my website already. So maxmitchell.com, head over. I completely changed the code art page. So this is what it looks like on full screen. Um, I think it looks pretty like good. Um, you know, kind of like goes with this whole like style for the rest of my website, but I think it looks good. And then when you're on mobile, it just gets rid of the text and it's just like the screenshots of it. So I think it's pretty cool. And if you actually click on it, you know, it loads. Have a little bit more information. It tells you, you can click on it to start. You can cycle the colors with spacebar. Show that now. Um, but the colors also cycle throughout it. And if I start playing, I'm very happy <laughs> with how it came out. So I'm not gonna let it play out the whole thing. Um, you guys can go on my website, look at it yourself. Yeah, that's kind of it. Um, room for improvement. Sorry, my dog is barking. It's my dog. I don't know if this is in the shot or not. Hi. Hi. 
more my parents' dog than my dog. But uh, yeah. anyways, room for improvement. Um, honestly, not much. I am happy with how it turned out. I think I can definitely use this for other projects. As far as the code goes, um, it's all on my GitHub. I have a link to it. I think I did a pretty good job at commenting out the code here. And um, I kind of went like, I don't say, I wouldn't say overboard on the comments, but explained more things than I usually would. You guys can go check it out on your own. Other than that, I think that's it for this video. I'll see you guys for the next one. I think I might be making like an intro to generative art kind of video because obviously music visualizers are cool, but I also kind of want to get into just creating like static um, artworks or like pages on my website that every time you refresh it, it like generates a new kind of random variation of the artwork. So I think that might be my next video. And so I have to let my dog back inside. I'll see you guys next time.